Hi, I'm Rivers Rutherford, and uh, I'd like to present you with a song that I wrote with one of my closest friends, George Taren, When I Get Where I'm Going, for Music Notes Song Spotlight. Well, uh, my wife and I were in a little supper club with Brad and Kim, and uh, Brad had just lost an aunt who was like a mother to him, and you know, really, really close with her. Allie gave a copy of the song to Kim to give to Brad. From the business, she could care less about pitching a song, you know. But she said, you know, Rivers really helped him get over his grandfather, lost his grandfather, and I think Brad might benefit from it. So Brad called me a couple days later. He said, yeah, uh, Kim gave me that song that Allie pitched, and I really like it. And I said, well, now, Brad, Allie wasn't pitching the song. Oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't mean that. You know what I said? Yeah, I got you. He said, I'm not going to cut it, but I, I love the song. It's a great song. It really meant a lot to me. Thank you. And I said, oh, man, my pleasure. I hope it helped. And about six months later, he called me and, hey, you know, can, can you be at the castle? Uh, tomorrow I, I, and sing the scratch, I'm going to cut it. He said, uh, I want to be able to play guitar and really focus on that. I said, sure. So I went and sang the scratch and I remember walking out of the studio thinking, God, that was magical. And then one day Kim called me and said, Rivers, what, you got to get the studio right now. I said, why, why, why? Because Brad just had Dolly Parton sing on your song and she did this hallelujah thing and it's unbelievable and I mean, she sings like an angel. Get down here right now. I said, Kim, I'm in Texas. I said, put Brad on the phone. And uh, she said, oh, okay, Brad, Brad, Brad. He says he'll have to call you back when he quits crying. There are some songs that you write because you are you see an opportunity to make some money, and so you write them. Those aren't my favorites, you know? And honestly, the, the most success I've had has been with songs that came from me, just right where I was at. The night my grandfather died, I had a dream that uh, I was walking through a field with him, and he was, he was young, his eyes were clear and blue and, and he and he matched me step for step. Every show I do when I play that song, somebody comes up to me and says, you know, we buried my dad or, or my husband or you know my child when we played your song. It's humbling and it's difficult. You know, you're 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 at a party and drinking and having a big time and carrying on and then you get hit with that but it's the most rewarding moments of my career.